Welcome to another Challenge Alice! Hi there and welcome back to another Challenge Alice. We're back! I think it was May last time we did one of these, which is a ridiculously long time. But we're back for another video of festivity, Challenge Alice Megathon. It's not going to be a megathon, I don't know why I said that. Let's get on to today's video where I will be trying to make mulled wine from scratch. Seems easy, seems pretty fairly standard, throw everything in a saucepan, warm it up, drink it, have a holly jolly time. So hopefully this can't go too wrong. But let's talk you through what we're gonna need for this and then let's head over to the stove where we can get started. To make mulled wine from scratch, you will need some oranges, cinnamon, whole cloves, and something called star sin, I think, if you have it, I don't. Some mulled wine spices, and obviously, some wine. This is not a very expensive bottle of wine, but as we're literally just gonna heat it up and shove it in our mouths, it doesn't really matter. We're gonna add a load of spices to it anyway, so you don't need to go too expensive on the wine. You are literally sitting in my coffee cupboard. So basically, the instructions so you shove everything in a pan and heat. But what the instructions also fail to give is any kind of measurements from the instructions that I'm following. So this is going to be fun. I'm just going to dump the whole bottle of wine in and kind of go from there. In goes the Pinot Noir. And then, I mean, I don't really know how this works. I guess we're just infusing the wine. So uh, should we just kind of... I'm just going to dump a few of these in there. I don't want to go too mad with the additional spices I'm putting in because I do have that little packet which has got things in it anyway. I don't need to go overkill if we've already got things. Cinnamon. Oh, I went overkill with this the other day, so it's just... Ooh. Yeah, sure, I'll do. And then I guess I'm going to cut a couple of these little satsumas up. Easy peel. Okay, I think we're just going to do... Well, we should probably do two. Let's do another one. This is when my mum comes home and she goes, Why have you used up all the satsumas? Like, uh, for science. Sure, that's what we're doing here. Science. It's actually an educational program now. I don't think that would be very good. You all saw the Christmas trees or the crisp mysteries videos, which is a joke I thought I made. And then in editing, realized I certainly had not made that joke. I made it like seven times to my parents afterwards. They loved it. Right, okay, let's be done with those and let's get the spices. Dump the lot in. We'll take the lot. Okay, there's a lot of smells going on here, so let's get some heat going on. But I only want a low heat, ah, because, no. I want a really low heat, because we're gonna be leaving this, you can't see me, you can only hear me. I want a really low heat, because we're gonna be leaving this to simmer for about three hours. Um, we don't wanna boil the wine, it's very explicit. My very basic recipe is very explicit about not, hey, there's a cinnamon stick in there. Well, I probably didn't need to add any of my own shit because there was plenty in that little bag I just threw in. Oh well, it's gonna be fine. All right, well, I'm gonna give this a little stir just for a moment and then I'm gonna leave it to do its thing for three hours. This is seeming a lot easier than I thought. So I'm gonna literally just gonna leave that there. I might add a dash of brandy, I'll let you know if I do. Um, it does say you can add some additional liquors in if you want to, uh, so maybe I will, maybe I won't. Who knows, who who knows? Uh, I won't be leaving a time lapse because I don't actually think it's gonna do anything interesting, apart from sit there and warm up. So uh, I will see you in three hours time to review the very easy at this point made more wine. Okay, so nearly, well, nearly three hours have passed. Here we are. Um, everything's got a bit mulchy <laughs> in the pan. I also think some of the wine has boiled off, uh, so there is less here than we started with, I think. It smells great. The whole room smells amazing um, as it's been simmering. I have, I also forgot to add in some sweetener, so I added in a tablespoon of sugar and like a dribble of, well, kind of a tablespoon of honey um, into it as well to make it a bit sweeter. Um, what else happened? So over the three hours it did start to bubble, in which I kind of turned it off for half an hour and then turned it back on. It's on super low heat, as hopefully you can see. Hopefully there. It's a really, really low heat um, to prevent it from boiling. So I've got a couple of minutes left, which I'm going to leave it like that. And then I'm going to get the gin strainer, which is the gin strainer you've seen in videos such as the potion making kits, if you've seen any, any of those. We're going to strain it out into a jug, and then I'm going to strain it out again back into the bottle, 
Partially because I'm curious to know how much is left. So I should probably let it cool before I put it in the bottle. So maybe I won't do that. Maybe I'll just put put some in a glass, leave the rest in a jug or a saucepan, um, and then once it's cooled down a bit, then we'll put it back in the bottle just to kind of see how much we lost, because I reckon we've lost... I reckon we've lost a bit. It doesn't look like there's anywhere near as much. So basically, we're going to find out if it's worth doing this yourself or just getting those pre-made ones from Tesco's or any other supermarket. But uh, yeah, let me finish this off. You'll see me strain it out, and then we'll give it a taste. I can't find the gin strainer, so new plan. Sieve, Colin did, well it's a sieve. We're using a sieve. Okay. I've, I've done something wrong. <laughs> There's no way that a whole bottle of wine should have just this much there. There's a There's hundred milliliters there. I don't know how much was in the bottle of wine. 75 centiliters, 750 milliliters. We've lost 650 milliliters in this process. I don't think that's right. I told people I was making more wine. People are gonna think there's more wine to drink when they get back. Where did it all go? Irrelevant, let's pour it out and taste it and see if that was worthwhile. I'll just get a small glass mug because, I mean, we'll be lucky if we fill this. So let's have a taste. That's it, that's all I managed to make. I've done something wrong. I must have boiled so much of it off. We've lost so much in that process. Maybe I shouldn't have left it for so long. It did say 15 to the, 15 minutes to three hours, so. Maybe I'll still. Let's taste it. it. Smells very, um, I think cinnamon is the strongest thing I can smell. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> Buy it pre-made or follow a recipe that actually has measurements. I'm not mad, I've only got a little bit now. It's very sweet, very sweet. I think the honey might have been a mistake. Um, very sharp. How could it be sharp and sweet at the same time? Maybe the fact that I didn't actually use oranges and I used those little satsuma things, maybe that was a mistake. Well, what did we learn here? It is not that easy to make mulled wine. Um, and if you're gonna do it, follow a proper recipe. Don't boil off too much of the wine or you will literally have about half a glass to enjoy. Um, and if you're gonna get a packet of the mulled wine stuff like I had, you probably don't need to put anything else in it. Just, just put those spices in it and you'll be fine. Maybe a little bit of sugar to keep it sweet, but aside from that, Maybe it's because the wine I bought wasn't expensive. I think I paid like three pounds for the wine, the bottle of wine I used as a base. But anyway, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. It's been an absolute blast. As always, if you enjoyed this video, go show that like button some Christmas themed love. And if you want to support the channel, go hit subscribe and ring that bell so you don't miss the next time I upload a video. Stay awesome, and I will see you all in the next video. It's not getting better.